Hammer. Parch. Head. 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 Height. Head. Head. Pelly guard. Hold. Hold it. Colors. Petty. Cut. We now have the invocation by Mr. Dickens. Let us all bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in this day. This is the day of our Lord and Savior, May 31st, 2010, Father God. You said give honor where honor is due, and we come to give honor and respect. We come to remember those, the Lord, that have left their homes, they left their families and loved ones, Father God, to serve their town, their city, to serve this country, Father God. We set aside this time not only in Stockbridge, but all over this nation, Father God, remember it. And we thank you, Lord, for what it really truly means, for what they have stood for for this country. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, uh, if I may, I just wanted to make a few quick remarks. You didn't come to hear me talk, but I just wanted to tell you what a little bit and share some... Uh, information with you about Memorial Day a little bit. Memorial Day, as you know, is the United States federal holiday and it's observed on the last Monday of May. It's formerly known as Decoration Day and it commemorates U.S. men and women who died while in the military services. It was first enacted to honor Union soldiers of the American Civil War and it is celebrated near the day of reunification after the Civil War then it was expanded after World War I. At the end of the Civil War, communities set aside a day to mark the end of the war, or as a memorial to those who died. Some of the places that were creating an early memorial included Sharpsburg, Maryland, Charleston, South Carolina, Bowlesburg, Pennsylvania, Carbondale, Illinois, Columbus, Mississippi, and many, many more. There are many stories to its actual beginnings, with over two dozen cities and towns laying claim to being the birthplace of Memorial Day. There is also evidence that organized women's group in the South were decorating graves before the end of the Civil War. While Waterloo, New York was officially declared the birthplace of Memorial Day by President Lyndon Johnson in May of 66, it's difficult to prove conclusively the directions of the date. It is more than likely that it had many separate beginnings. Each town had every plan, spontaneous gathering of people to honor their war dead. General Logan, who was the commander of the Grand Army Republic, and his General Order Number 11 was the first to observe it on 30 May 68. So I think this train. It is not important who was the first, but it's important that Memorial Day was established. Memorial Day is not about division; it's about reconciliation. It is about coming together to honor those who gave all. One of my favorite stories about Memorial Day is the research done by Professor David Blight at Yale University. History Department. The first Memorial Day he documents was observed by formerly enslaved black people at the Washington Race Course, today the location of Hampton Park in Charleston, South Carolina. The race course had been used as a temporary Confederate prison camp for captured Union soldiers in 1865, as well as a mass grave for Union soldiers who died there. Immediately after cessation of hostilities, Formerly enslaved people exhumed the bodies from the mass graves and reinterned them with proper individual graves. They built a fence around the graveyard with an entry arch and declared it a Union graveyard. The work was completed in only 10 days, and on May the 1st, 1965, the Charleston newspaper reported that a crowd of up to 10,000, mainly black residents, including 2,800 children, proceeded to the location which included sermons, singing, and a picnic on the ground, thereby creating the first Decoration Day. The traditional observance of Memorial Day has diminished over the years. Many Americans nowadays have forgotten the meaning and the traditions of Memorial Day. At many cemeteries, the graves of the fallen have increasingly been ignored and neglected. While there are towns and cities that still hold Memorial Day parades, many have not held a parade in decades. Some people think the day is for honoring any and all dead, not just those fallen into our service. 
to help re-educate and remind Americans of the true meaning of Memorial Day, the National Moment of Reconciliation Resolution was passed on December 2000, which asked that at 3 p.m. local time for all Americans to voluntarily and informally observe in their own way a moment of reverence and respect, pausing for whatever they're doing for a moment of silence and listening to taps. The moment of reverence is a step in the right direction to returning the meaning back to today. What is needed is a full return of the original day of observance. Set aside one day out of the year for the nations to get together to remember, reflect, and honor those who have given all in their service to this country. But what may be needed to return the solemn and even sacred spirit back to Memorial Day is for it to return to its traditional day of observance. Many feel that when Congress made the day into a three-day weekend with the National Holiday Act, of 1971, it made it easier for people to distract from the spirit and the meaning of that day. I want to thank everyone for coming out today, and hopefully in the years to come, the citizens of Stockbridge will join us in helping us to return the true tradition and meaning of Memorial Day and Veterans Day to our community and pay respect to those who have made this day and every day in the future possible for us. I want to turn around and also on behalf of the, as the Mayor of City Stockbridge, I want to thank the Cemetery Research Group. We want to thank the Stockbridge Naval Junior ROTC, Commander Malone, or Ca Captain Malone and his crowd. We want to thank the Boy Scouts, uh, Troop 1168, and all anybody else that joined in here, as well as the local community coming out and taking this time out of your moment to come pay respect on it here. Thank you very much, and I will turn it over to Sergeant Major at this time. Okay, at this time we would have the members of the ceremony. Uh, uh, we are here today to remember, pay respect, and to give honor to those who served our country. As the mayor stated earlier, this is the first time that this neighborhood has undertaken uh, this project. And the process would be we will call the names of the veterans, the deceased veterans, and a scout member will place a flag at that site. Um, we identified these sites and hopefully uh, the assignment that were made uh, that the scouts can go directly to those. And uh, I want to thank all the family members for coming out uh, as we uh, give honor to your loved ones and our loved ones. Uh, the first name, John H. Amy Jr. The second one, Kennedy Bow. There's a family member with your extort flag site name. E. B. Buffalo. Monroe Carpenter, John Allen Dabney, Alfred Finney, Pam Hambridge Sr., Jimmy Hambridge, Ray Hambridge, Marvin Pittman, Paul E. Preston, Isaiah M. Ratford, Benjamin Sago, Otis Walker. Amos A. Womack, Andrew Smith, 